for a better product than Kangaroo Court in your first round training, don't even bother with that kid. Let that kid go to Kangaroo Court because they got a guy there that's been there. They got a guy that, uh, you know, credentials is super high while over here at first round training, you may not have that. So when you go in and approaching players, I hate, I hate this. I'm sorry. Come over here. You can play for free. Sorry, guys. I don't want free. I don't want free. You shouldn't want free. You shouldn't want free for your your kid, your product. Like, you shouldn't want free. What you're saying is, all right, I'm going to go over here, take it to Joe over here. Joe say he can hook me up on, on, on fixing my car. But Joe gives no warranty. You get it down the road and your car breaks down, who are you going to take it? Are you going to take it back to Joe? Joe's going to get more money out of you. Or are you going to go take it to Tuffy or a, a, a place that, you know, is a prestige place is going to fix you right? Yeah, it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. But, you know, it, sometimes it's better going to the dealership. Well, I've joked around with you about it. Like, <laughs> I heard, heard Deion Sanders say he was, you know, looking to go skydiving or whatever. Mm -hmm. He saw a Groupon for it. Like, I don't want a Groupon for skydiving. No. Like, I want to pay full price for skydiving. Yes. You know, and it's kind of, obviously, it's not life or death here, mm -hmm. but in a sense, I mean, when you're spending this kind of money, this is an investment. This is a, a car payment, house payment for yeah. some. I mean, mm -hmm. this is another kid. This is taking away from yes. another child. So yes. So it's, it's, I don't want to see, I don't want to see you continue to lose money. No. Throw money away, no. light money on fire, you know? No. And the, the bad part about it is there's enough people out here that, will take your money and will not even attempt to give you any results. The smoke and mirror, the, the, the bait and switch. Yep. Lulu, what's up? How you doing? Brody's mom. Dad, what's good? Mr. Blueprint. I'm following <laughs> it every day. I'm giving it away for free. Um, But, yeah, it, it's just, just be careful. Be careful. Be careful. I'll say it again. Be careful because free is not always good. It's not always good. You have to make that sacrifice, parents. And it's not always about first round training. It's other places that deliver the goods too. Mm -hmm. Um but Jim Hagemeyer, what's up, man? How you doing? But people, do your research. Dig because you can't have a Ferrari taking it to your friend's dad who knows a little bit about, you know, cars. Take it to DeVito's, <laughs> you know? That plug. On 301. <laughs> Free marketing, DeVito. I'm taking my truck to you, baby. Do you do Maseratis? Because I'll take it in there, too. But go to DeVito's, man. Get your warranty. They're going to back their work, man. But in a, in a nutshell, from a recruiting standpoint, we don't recruit. We so don't if recruit. You wanna, if you want to see... If you want to call it recruiting, if you want to see how we go about it, show up on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. It's open. We want anybody to come out. We said we were going to make a strong push on that. Anybody pushing or anybody watching, please help us push that. We're looking for – you got to be a pretty good 9-year-old, put it that way. Yeah. Like the ones we have. But we're looking for 10- to 12-year-old experienced players. Yes. Come out this Wednesday. Come and it's get, free, it's people. Free. It's free. We're not going to make you sign anything. You can stay with your team. You can continue. With, hey, if if we get you better to beat us, we're fine with that. We'll do that because we're gonna we're gonna get better. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the, that's the thing, man. That is how you recruit your guys. As you put your product on the line for free, okay. And let and let the player choose. You know. Your product might not be good. You might think your product is good, but it might not be good, okay? So put it out there, man. Do the extra work. This is how you gain leverage, people. This is how you gain leverage, okay? Coaches, you want more players? Gain leverage, all right? Do it for free, okay? Learn from the best. Learn from guys who've been there. I'll... Give you whatever I got, because if every kid wanted to come to me in Manatee County, I can't do it. We need other, we need other coaches, you know, guys like Flynn and all these other guys who train and, you know, uh, you know, we need your help be because we can't do it alone. But you got to gain leverage, and the only way you're gonna do it is 
you got to do it for free sometimes. That's what uh, I actually had DeVito speaking to him. This morning, DeVito called me and asked me a question. It was like, I don't know, 9 o'clock or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I had just gotten up, so I answered. He's like, you just getting out of bed? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, man, I need a job like you. I'm like, go train kids for a year for free. Yeah. Go do it for a year for free and see what's up. See what kind of, you know, like this stuff, the same way that the Diamonds just didn't appear in the championships is the same way first-round training. We didn't just show up here. Like, man, you remember we had, there'd be weeks where we have one, two, three, four lessons in a week. Yeah. Luckily, we had, you know, we got a good supporting cast with the Buffalo Creek people. And, yeah. You know, the Nyes and JT and family and Amir. You know, like, luckily we had that, you know, kind of core group that came in that kept us busy but and, and had a lot of referrals. And, you know, we do a pretty good job with marketing and we get out and about. You got a wrap truck. We spend time at Little League Fields. I mean, we did. That wrap truck is $2,500. Okay. Hey. With a, so with a fourteen thousand dollar machine, with a fourteen thousand dollar machine, you guys do the math. Like we we're, we're reinvesting in you guys. Yep. We'll get rich later, but you're gonna have all the tools, mm-hmm. and that's what you. It is, that's just what you get here. So coaches, that's what you got to do. You got to eat the boo boo sandwich. You got to start off a rookie ball. You can't just go straight to the big leagues. In this game, like I. I expected, like, hey, man, uh, Logan, why everybody coming? Everybody should be coming. And, like, and then Logan to tell me, hey, last since you got to wait your turn. You got to wait your turn. Like, you know, Dwayne's been doing this for a long time. Like, he paid his dues. There's a giant and he, building yeah. that just went up in yeah. Bradenton. There's two other places in the area. Square up. And people all- might be worried as far as – for as much as people might want to come see the big leaguer, mm-hmm. people also might be scared of being seen in the big leaguer. Absolutely. Being scared of told the truth. Being mm-hmm. scared of being scared for all these years, you might have been doing the wrong thing. Yeah. So, I mean, there was a lot that went into it. But in recap with that, we don't recruit. And yeah. if you want to recruit for your team, the best way of doing it is have a good product. Make have a good, a good product. product. And get out, get out and offer some stuff for free. Do some camps for free. Do some clinics. Get your get get seen. You have to be you have to be genuine in what you're doing, people. You have to be genuine, okay? It, it's 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 free to be nice. It's free to you know. Time doesn't cost. Maybe you can make some money during that time, but time doesn't cost. Go 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 spend some time with the kids. You want to get their money, you know what I mean? It's a business. It is. It's a business. We can't do this here for free, you know. Um, because if we're going to do that, then I can just go ahead and, and put in my resume and go coach with the Reds or the Pirates or something yeah. like that and, 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 and get insurance and do all those kind of things. But it's a business. So, um, you know, but at the same time, you have to deliver what you're getting paid. You can't expect to take and not give. And that's the, that's the problem with travel ball. So be opposite of that. Gain leverage. Do stuff for free. Be in the community. And voila, you have a team. It might not be voila in five minutes, might not be voila in three, four months, but slowly you're going to gain people trust because you're there for the kids first, and then you get you get compensated for how good you deliver the goods. All right, so gain that leverage. That's how you recruit. You recruit by putting your product out there. And that's the, you know, that's all I got to say about the recruiting. All right, see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> this, the recruiting standpoint, kind of tied into what we're talking about now, helping some coaches out, giving some tips and tricks, mm-hmm. things. Um, obviously, there's a, our tip on how to recruit, per se, or how to bring more players in to your organization. Um, I think one of the biggest You're things. You're welcome, Ronnie. Yeah, I'm glad you came too, man. Yeah, we are too. Yeah, we glad got, we're glad you came, man. Uh, one of the biggest things from coaching that, that, that we've learned I've learned um, got to be humble. Yeah, like it's been a very humbling experience. Absolutely, you know? we like, got our uh, ki- teeth kicked in yep. for a long time. Yep. So no matter how good, and we, and we say it all the time in a non arrogant way, but it's like if if we got to play against the other coaches, we're not gonna lose. Oh no, we're not losing. You know, it's, it, 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 yeah, I challenge any two coaches. But you're right. I challenge any two coaches, two but, on two. But, no, three on three. Frank, we got you. Yeah, big right. poppy, baby. The <laughs> yeah. white big poppy. But, but we it's been it's been humbling because in and, and, and that's from my standpoint, so I can only imagine from yours. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, wow, you know, I was up here. 
this kid can't even field a ground ball. How do I how do I come down and explain this to this kid on how to do this? Well, A said it too. A said, man, like, if anybody should have an ego, I don't know where all these egos coming from. If anybody should have egos, it should be me. The guys that have done it. The guys that's been there, yeah. made money on TV. Yeah. And it's like these guys are just not humble. They're not nice. They know everything. It's like, no, nah, I'm good. And we did it with Randy. We had the video that went viral. Yeah. 95% of these parents <laughs> that yell at their kids, get in the cage and show them what they're doing wrong. You show him how to fix that. Because mm-hmm. I guarantee you, you can't do it. No, you can't. And, and it's, it's nothing against you. And, and right. It's just not. But it's not, hey, you weren't Griffey. What expects your son to be Griffey? You know? And then the guys that have done it, I saw a thing with LeBron the other day. Like, LeBron is upset that he even named his kid after him. Yeah. Right? Because of the expectations it's put on his kid, yep. you know, so he's looking at it from the, he's looking at it from that way. When you got parents who are look who have never played sports that think that all of a sudden, hey, I signed him up for child ball and I got him lessons, he's a superstar now. Yeah, no. So it's like it's been a very humbling experience. But the my mind's short and sweet about this. If you want to be a good coach, you want to have a good organization. Pair up with somebody that you trust. That's hard. It- you're not going to find that, but that's what you got to do. Pair up with somebody that you trust. Mm-hmm. Pair up with somebody that you can say say the positives to and the negatives to and also be able to take the positive and the negatives from whoever you're working with. You have to have that. There's days, me and you, hey, we don't agree every day. We're on the same page a lot with coaching, but there's days. I mean, we've, we've disagreed with business ventures that has turned out to be successful mm-hmm. on both sides. Yeah. You know? So it's... Pairing up with somebody that you can trust, and the, the biggest part, and you said it just a minute ago, touch, touched on it, doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. If you just show up and you do the right thing, if, you, if you're going to get paid for something, do what you're getting paid for. If you're here to train kids and kids are going to pay you to train them, train the kids. Don't sit there and waste your time on your cell phone. Don't, you know, we got a machine where we could literally set up lawn chairs and pull our phones out and kick back and drink a beer if you wanted to. Yeah. And we don't do that. We're mm-hmm. right out there taking ground balls, taking fly balls. So it's if this is something that you truly want to do and you're interested in doing it, it's just like anything else. You got to be committed to it. You got to be committed, and you got to have the credentials, people. Like, don't just all this daddy stuff and getting out there. Yes, that's that's great. If you want to start a travel ball organization for your friends and things like that, that's fine. Hire somebody with credentials, please, please, because. This is not rec ball. This is not recreational. When you step up in travel ball, this is like we're coming to try to pound your brains in. Like, I don't care if it's a kid to seven. You and Ting, we're trying to smash you. Like, because we're embedding that competitiveness and that go get it attitude, that take it. Anybody in your way, run over them. Anybody, hey, if they not on your train, if they're trying to stop your train, run through them. And that's travel ball. Rec ball is, hey, you know, nice. Hey, Sally, cool thing. Yeah, Billy's playing. Yeah, Draw Billy's going to play center. Yeah, you can play yeah whatever, like you know. Billy's going to play short, center, second. No, but Billy's not that good. But Billy made nine errors. Like, no, Billy's not going to play short. Billy probably going to sit the bench on yeah. my team. No. You know what I mean? So it's like. That's the difference between travel ball and rec ball. So don't get it twisted when you when, when you start these travel ball teams. You you know you have to play to win because while you losing, we're gonna be trying to win and doing the right things, putting the kids in the right position to win. And those kids are gonna end up coming where we are. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want those kids to, if you want those kids to be loyal. You want those kids to stick with you. You gotta do the. You gotta do the things that they do at the next level, and keep getting them to the next level, the next level, the next level. Because you can do it. You can do the same thing I'm doing, okay? Because these these kids don't need a big league coach. You it's know what nice I mean? It's nice to have. It's nice to have. Don't get me wrong, but they don't need it. So you can do it too. But you have to do what's right, and you have to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, go hire somebody. And if you don't know by now. We'll even sum it up for you. Playing travel ball, if you play travel ball, if you've signed up to play travel ball, if you're wanting to play travel ball, it is going to be no different than when you step foot in high school baseball. They, is there politics? There's politics in everything in life. Yep. 
somebody's going to play over you because they bought batting cages or they donated this yeah. or they you know this person has this dad and this person has this mom mm-hmm. and that's going to pl- that's that's life that's life that happens in everything you do okay mm-hmm. but if you're playing travel ball right now we're teaching these kids that hey you go 0 for 8 I don't care that you're paying you're probably going to sit the bench I'm going to be right here yeah because I know exactly what to do when I get in there. I already planned for me to get in in the sixth inning because you're going to be upset and you're going to be mad and you're going to throw your helmet and coach is going to bench you. So I'm going to sit right here and I'll get my shot. You just go ahead and do what you want to do. I'm not going to get upset. My mom's not going to go talk to the coach and beg for playing time. I'm going to sit here and do whatever I need to do and I'll get in the game. Just like we said earlier, I'm going to be the best reserve player. I'm going to be a reserve player. And if you can learn how to do that, you can play any position. Yeah. And, it, and it's just, I mean, it's just as simple as, like, it doesn't matter if you're the number one player in the nation like you were. If if you struggle, you might not lead off. Like, nope. it's not, it's just, it's, you know, I, I don't care what your potential, and we say it all the time. You can have all the potential in the world, but what, and it's just like life, too. What, are, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. What are you doing for me now? I've seen you hit home runs two years ago, but you haven't done anything this year. But the thing it's about, a whole new year. There's a thing about it, too. Like, if I'm over here making four or $500,000 at the University of Florida and I keep putting you in there every day and you're not doing something and my $500,000 job on the line, mm-hmm. hey, bro, mm-mm. What it, and it, <laughs> mm-mm. You're going to sit down. And it's not direct money, but it is in a sense. It's kind of like if we as coaches continue to play kids that have a bad attitude, kids that show no signs of improvement, kids that don't get any hits, kids that can constantly make an errors, our good players aren't going to want to be around that. No. Our good players' parents aren't going to want to be around that. It's, it's politic ball. It's daddy ball. The same stuff I'm trying to get away from, I come over here and it's the same thing. So we had some we had some players that leave, we, you know, had some players that left this year because they felt like it was the same thing at another organization. Well, sometimes you got to look yourself in the mirror. Maybe it's your player. Maybe you're not good enough to start. Yep. And it's okay work don't complain you just got to be better that's all point blank period and it's like i said cliche and keep saying the same thing but it's life it's life bro you don't like your job work harder and get a raise you don't like your job go to school get a better education so you don't have to work that job you don't like your job <laughs> leave your job go find another job everybody wants to hand it to you right it's, out it's, the game. nobody not, wants to work it, exactly nobody wants to work today and that's the key ingredient that's killing the youth nobody wants to work and it's just it's 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 bad news. You got to work and you got to take what you want, because nobody's gonna. You you think somebody came? You think the Wilpons just came with a multi million dollar check and handed it to me? No, they handed it to me because my dad kept me up five o'clock in the morning, woke me up five o'clock in the morning, hit BP, and got to go drive over the bridge forty miles to to private school. Mm-hmm. That's how I got my check. Not because, oh, my name is my name is Lastings Millage and both, you know, my dad and both of my brothers play professional baseball. Nobody cares. You gotta take what you get. You gotta grind like a scrub, even if you're a stud. Yep. And that's just point blank period. You know? So People, stop being entitled. Stop being entitled because that entitled that entitlement feeling. My reserve guys is gonna come take is gonna come take your stud guys job. Yep. Trust me. We've and seen it. We, and they're seen learning it. how to do it. They're ready. They're ready for that opportunity. We've got a handful of guys that are learning to come off the bench, and they're hey, they're coming out hungry and they're yep. ready to go. And and some of these guys are this far away from. When they do get out there, they might not. They might come not back come back. Other. Right. So, uh, from a tip standpoint, a couple tips, I guess. Um, I guess we kind of can throw that in there, too. I'm open to it. If you are, hey, Wednesday, if any coaches want to come out to our practice. Come walk come, out on the field. Ask yourself. me. Pick my brain. I'm yep. here for free, people. Yep. I'm here for free. Players, you got to pay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but coaches, come on, man. Come on. Come get the free advice. I mean, come if nothing else. If we can't, if, if we can help you make your program this much better, that makes us feel better. So because the thing about it, 
everybody's gonna be like, man, why, why would you give away? Why, why, why would you give away secrets? Why would you do that? This is why I can give away secrets. This is why you can give away secrets. This is why first round training can give away secrets. Because there's a 90% chance you're not going to do it. Because yeah, right. it takes a lion. It takes a hungry lion to do what we do every day, in and out, every minute. I, I say it all the time. I worked for Stenton Roofing over during high school and, like, for OJT and mm-hmm. all that. Like, I'm not saying I could put a full roof on. But yeah. I know what's up yeah. as far as roofing. I'm not roofing. Yeah, I'm not going and doing it myself. I'm going to pay somebody to do that. Yeah, you know? it's it's not it's not worth the time for me. It's not worth the effort for me. And you know, if I can focus on something else that is making money, mm-hmm. why would I even waste my time doing that? And and just to refer back to what you're saying, all these people will gladly help, gladly share, but it's still going to take them doing what they need to do. I so, challenge you. Okay, I challenge you. You can't do it. You're not going to do it. You're going to miss something along the way. You're going to do this. You're not going to do it as good as somebody else. But you're going to have the ingredients to do the right thing. It's up to you whether you're going to deliver it or not. I know we're going to deliver it day in and day out. And there's nobody going to be better than us. There's nobody going to stay out later than us. I don't, I, I, I've worked hard my whole life. Pretty much gave away my childhood. Gave it away. Fortnite, all that stuff, nah. I'm hitting baseballs. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, no life for me. Dedicated my game, dedicated my life to my craft. And then the Will Ponds with the New York Mets showed up with a $2 million check. Now I can be a kid. I can get those years back. That's what I worked hard for. And it doesn't always work that way. But maybe you get a couple hundred thousand dollars scholarship or a hundred thousand dollar scholarship or whatever. That's when you could be, do the things that you lost time on grinding. Mm-hmm. When you were grinding and you lost the time to be a kid, to go to, you know, to go to Disney World and to do this and to do that, and you hear it all the time, let him be a kid, let him be a kid. Yeah, well, while you being a kid, I'm figuring out what I want to do in life. Mm-hmm. So you go be a kid. Go, go be a kid. I'll find the, t- the, the four hours to go to Disney World. I'll find those four hours. But why are you making it a must thing to do? It's a privilege for me to go. So after I hit two, three thousand balls, then I can go to Disney World. After I become a, a MVP or an All Star, I go to the Little League World Series. Then I can go. I gotta earn my. I gotta earn my right to go to Disney World, not just go to Disney World just because it's every kid's dream. I gotta earn that. And that's what I did. That's what Logan did. And that's what we do here at First Round Training. We earn everything we get. So, you know, that's that's all that, that's all in a nutshell, people. Um, we closing in on an hour. Uh, we're going to go. That was a good and, episode. Yeah, that was a real good episode. We're going to go and shout out people. Greg Lang, what's up? That's my cousin. Uh, Jordan Scogan, what's up, buddy? Uh, Tiger Nation, Greg Lang, 98, hey, 98 pitcher. I'm, I'm with you. Tiger Pride uh, never dies. Jordan hey. Scogan right here, he said everyone needs to listen to this. These guys are doing it the right way. Scog, yeah, thank Scog, you. Scogan's brother pitches in the major leagues right now, so hopefully we'll get him down sometime to come talk to the kids too. Jordan and I play ball. He was a good ball player. Yeah, there, BC, so BC, it. BC. Tuck say Coach Lassen never get excited, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I'm horrible, but hey – Hey, they hey, they know. If if it's their goal to get me excited, then I I I'll I'll do that all day, man. Tuck Tuck Tate, you hit a home run, guess what? You're supposed to do that. All right. <laughs> Hey, I'm not getting excited. You're supposed to do it. You know what I mean? But uh Greg Ramsey, all the way live. We got a big order coming in from you. Looking yep. forward to it. Bunch of pink jerseys for Mother's Day. He's always keeping uh first round training. I don't even have one on, you do right now. Yeah. It's always- <laughs> <laughs> He's always – this was one of the first ones. This was before we met you. Yeah. Um, he's always got – he's always keeping us in style and keeping all the kids looking fresh. So, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Um, Hunter, uh, great coaching, always attract good players. Yes, it does. It does. You know, it does. And we just try to do the right thing every day. Uh, we strategize. We, 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 we write notes down. The other day, I think I was scouting. I, I, I was scouting all three of the teams, all four of the teams that we could possibly play during the break. During the break, yep. you know, while everybody's over there eating nachos and doing all the cool stuff, like 
I'm on the opposite side, and people probably looking at like, what last thing's doing? They ain't last thing don't want to come over here. No, I'm strategizing to put us in the best position possible to get these. Don't be giving those secrets away too about what you're doing. Over yeah, there. but hey, I'm looking at you. I, I, I don't <laughs> care. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at your players. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be ten steps ahead of you when you're only one step. Same, you think you're only one step ahead of me. The same thing, and in, in, in just to touch base, the same thing that you were doing in the fifth, sixth, seventh innings when you were in the big leagues and you weren't starting. Yep. So, hey, when you came in fifth, sixth, seventh inning, hey, man, I know what I, I know when this guy does this, mm -hmm. he's throwing a breaking ball. Yep. Hey, I know when the coach goes like this, yep. he's telling the pitch outside. Yeah, yeah, you know? like So it's, it's all of those things that you are so used to doing. Mm-hmm. That is transferred over to this. That makes it. That's all. That it's, makes it's all I know. All yeah, it's right. all I know. Yeah. It's all I know. So. But you sit there and I watch. You take some of our smarter players and you sit there and you talk to them and say, "Hey, you see what they're doing? Every time they get two strikes on you, this is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Hey, every time runner on first, they pick off twice. Yeah. And then they go to the plate. You know, it's like those little things like that. That. Not being arrogant, the other coaches aren't doing that. No. Nah. So that, that keeps us in games, and those are little things right there. But. That's another tip. That's another tip. Oh. Take your time. Scout the other team. If we playing you, scout us out. No. We got a lot of flaws. You, you Hey, you can stay ahead of the game if you come and watch. You know? We could beat us if we played against each other. Yes. <laughs> we played it. Yes. Played our team. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You give us a clone team, yes, yeah. we will beat. We will beat us. So. Or, or just a good pitcher to pitch to our weaknesses. Yeah. Uh, Travis. Trey's good weekend behind the plate. He played well this weekend. Uh, Chad Blackett, what's up, buddy? You got anybody else? Uh, I think I got everybody. My dad, my, my dad said, "That's real talk." No, dad, it's real. It, it, it is, man. Like everybody, you know, it, dad, you know it better than anybody. When you went into the law enforcement, and everybody's like, "Man, you can still play, man. You can still, you know what I mean? Oh, man, you can still play football." Da 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 da. You was like, "Man, look, I got, I got two kids. I'm gonna take my butt." to the military, and then I'm going to take my butt and go to the Florida Highway Patrol, put my 25 in, and then call it quits. You did that at a young age. You knew what you wanted to do. Now when 2002 come up and you're retired, everybody's like, oh, man, he did, did, he, he retired because last thing's about to get money. No, my dad put in that work. Yeah, <laughs> My dad put in that work. Mm -hmm. And my dad had like something like two years in sick time. Yeah. That's work. My dad never missed a day. It's my dad never missed a day of work and never missed my game. Nope. My dad will show up at the game in his patrol car. I see that patrol car roll up at 24th Street and right field. I know I got to get to work. Hey, Dad, I'm going to hit one by your car, move your car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And then I know when he drive off, I know I've done my job. Yep. Not because he got to go to work, because he know I'm, I'm, I did my job. Yep. And, 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 and that's it. The blueprint pops. That You know what I mean? It's... And everybody look at you today. Oh, man, you got it made. Oh, you were made with or without me. And I was made with your guidance. But once I got your guidance and took your blueprint, I was good. You were done teaching after that. Yep. Because what I was going to do is follow in the same footsteps as you as I saw you go. And I know if I follow those same that same road, I know I was destined for success. So that's it. Jason Nye, Chris Adams, Ashley Wells, what's up, baby? Hey, Mike Amirez, Popies. What's up, man? Can we come do the next Real Talk in Popies in Palmetto? Yeah, man. I'm uh, looking. Hey, hey, we'll hey, it only costs you it only costs you a breakfast. I yeah. want breakfast. If I pull in Popies now, I want breakfast. <laughs> Country fried steak, man. Yeah. It just costs a free breakfast. Yeah. Fifteen dollars. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We will be there. Nah, but we uh, definitely like to do one there. We talked to your brother about trying to do one over at Shake Station, too. Speaking of that, anybody else who wants us to do anything in the community, we uh, we, uh, we we planned on moving to a couple different places. We had some uh, problems with a couple of locations. They're getting their stuff together, so I'm uh, not going to share any of those names right now. But we will be moving around over the next couple of weeks. If you are a business that will be interested in us coming over there, we do a pretty good job of shouting you out so if you're interested in us coming letting us know 
Um, Jason and I, you both some of the hardest working people I know. You're appreciated. Hey, man, we appreciate it. And he also told me to move my car. No. <laughs> you thought he was talking about your dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Mike Ramirez, he said, let's do it, boys. All right, buddy, I'll, I'll shoot you a text and try and, uh, try and get that lined up. But, uh, hey, it's 949. We know everybody's got school and yep. work and all that good stuff. We appreciate everybody tuning in, sharing. Uh, we'll be putting a post out. We've already done it, putting a post out again tomorrow saying that we will have free 100% free, no strings attached, practice. Must be 10 to 12 years old. Not saying it being mean, it's not babysitting. We are there, not- we're there to help the kids get better. So if it's a kid that you don't feel can fit in, he probably can't fit in. So no, go- I'll just tell it straight up. If he can't catch, if he can't throw, <laughs> it's just not the place to be. We will have camps for that. We will have camps, camps for that, yeah. but out, you know, you just don't want it to be a hazard and the kid get hit in the head. Like, you know, you don't you don't want that to happen. So if you if you know if your kid is good enough to be out there, if he is, then by all means come. If he's not. We have the cheapest prices around to get him to that point. So either way, we're your guys. Either way, we're your guys. We get it done under any circumstances. So uh, I just don't want anybody being put in a bad position. I don't want anybody confidence killed. Uh, you know, so I have to protect that. So um, just 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 be careful and 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 know the skill set that your kid have, and you know we'll go from there. Hey, man, uh, I guess wrapping it up. Love doing what I'm doing yeah. with you, man. It's fun every Love weekend. You, bro. Hey, shout out to the Diamonds, man. This hey, all awesome day. This weekend. is all hey. y'all, baby. We proud of y'all, baby. Boys. We proud of y'all. Now hey. we got to give y'all rings back, though. So, you know, we stunting a little bit. Yeah, you right, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Only, we only got one for Yeah, real. but it's, <laughs> these Caleb rings. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you again to everybody tuning in. If you want a free, if you want a free lesson, hey, we'll give away a free lesson. If you want a free lesson, uh, text me, call me, 941-304-9696. Direct message us. We're inside JP Igloo. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. How about this? How about this? In the next 15 minutes, go ahead and DM us for a free lesson. We'll give you a 30 minute free one. How about 30, that one? 30 minute free lesson with a former major leaguer right there. So I'll be I'll be right here for you, grinding with you. How about hey, that one? I appreciate everybody again. Appreciate the, how much it's growing, watching people and the views. So thank you guys again, and look forward to seeing you next week. Hello. Cool. The only one thing that I didn't do is I'm going to have to, it's still going to be mixed. I'd like, you know, I stopped. I, you see how much clearer it is here? Mm-hmm. Coming straight.